Rolex is inarguably the most recognizable luxury watch brand out there. Even if you aren't a watch enthusiast, you've likely seen Rolex watches worn by your favorite characters or celebrities. So the question that's probably bugged many of you is, what makes Rolexes the most recognizable watch company? More importantly, why are Rolex watches so expensive? Are they using special materials? Have they been making a sacrifice to the gods? Or is it just good marketing? Well, that's exactly what we're here to tell you today. Keep watching if you want to know more about the history of Rolex watches and what makes them so special, and why everyone who dreams of being rich always dreams of buying a Rolex. There's certainly a lot to talk about, so let's not waste your time and dive straight in. Rolex has a rich history behind them. It was founded in 1905 by Alfred Davis and Hans Wildorf, who wanted people to start wearing wristwatches. At the time, most wealthy people only had inaccurate pocket watches as a status symbol, and wearing wristwatches was seen as feminine, since it was like wearing jewelry. This changed when Rolex began manufacturing wristwatches for soldiers in the trenches for the First World War. Pocket watches weren't exactly the best option for soldiers, obviously, since they were always at risk of falling out. Wilsdorf's ingenuity and perseverance to create the best and most accurate timepiece led to a Rolex watch becoming the first wristwatch to receive an independently ratified certificate of chronometric performance in 1910. In 1914, it received a Class A performance certificate, which was a certificate only given to marine chronometers until then. Basically, Rolex was the best of the best. This wasn't enough for Wilsdorf. He was hungry for more than just precision. He wanted durability. That's why, in 1926, he created the Oyster Case, which was marked as the first waterproof wristwatch. Being the genius of marketing that he was, he convinced the swimmer, Mercedes Gleitzer, to wear it on her neck when crossing the channel. Though Mercedes didn't quite finish that attempt, the watch around her neck was bone dry and continued to accurately keep time. The marketing didn't end there. Rolex decided to showcase its watches in fish tanks to add to the hype built around the famous swimming event. These stories only touch the surface of Rolex's rich history of innovation. Wolfsdorf was ambitious, to say the least, and Rolex continued to be the leader in creating some of the most precise, efficient, and durable watches humankind had ever seen. This history is a major reason why Rolex is seen as the leading watch brand today. People trust the name and when you have such a trustworthy company on your hands, it makes sense to use that to your advantage and sell watches at a high price. This isn't all just clever branding, though. Rolex genuinely has numerous factors that go into why the prices are so high. Firstly, it's guaranteed that each Rolex made only uses the best materials. In contrast to the usual 316L stainless steel used by most watch companies, Rolex chooses instead to use a much higher quality 904L stainless steel. 904 steel is highly durable, but more importantly, it holds polishes well and is resistant to rust and corrosion. That's why Rolex watches keep their aesthetic beauty for a long time. The thing is, 904L stainless steel is difficult to work with. It requires higher quality machines and skills, and Rolex does all its manufacturing in-house. Furthermore, the gold they use is developed in their very own foundry. They even use unique rose gold called Everose, which is a patented material. As for the gems used in the fancier watches, Rolex has over 20 specialists just to ensure the gems are set perfectly inside each watch. If you think having specialists just to place gems is going overboard, we have some news for you. They have research and testing facilities for pretty much everything. An example of the labs included in their research and development department is a stress testing lab with a state-of-the-art machine that accurately simulates the different kinds of wear and tear the watch will likely receive over the period it is worn. Another lab tests the metals used in the watches to ensure they are durable and scream luxury. There's even a lab dedicated to testing oils and lubricants. The attention to detail within the watch manufacturing process is unmatched, so you can imagine that it considerably raises the cost of each timepiece. When it comes to assembling the watches, each piece is assembled by hand. This guarantees that each watch is checked for defects multiple times, 
and ensures that even if a defective piece has somehow reached the assembly line, it is removed before it reaches retail stores. Now, just because the final assembly line requires a human touch, that doesn't mean each part of the process is manually completed. The initial stages of things like packaging and polishing are performed by high-end machines that are made specifically for each stage. This super-intensive manufacturing process is exactly why Rolex watches are considered the best of the best. Rolex watches are also quite scarce. It takes a year to manufacture each watch, but the time taken toward crafting each watch adds an aura of exclusivity, driving the prices even higher. Furthermore, watches are only distributed to authorized dealerships, which ensures the authenticity of the watch when you purchase it. When considering the exclusivity of Rolex, it's also necessary to keep in mind that nobody fully knows the manufacturing process of the timepieces. The information given in this video is only a peek into what goes into making each Rolex, and there are a lot of secrets kept safe within the company. It's safe to assume that the purpose of keeping this mystery is to avoid a replication of a process that has continued for more than a century. If everyone could make a Rolex, what's the point of buying one from the brand itself? A Rolex isn't just built to be worn by one person. The exceptional durability of these watches makes each watch an heirloom piece. A Rolex can last a whole century if it's taken care of properly. That's no small feat. It makes each watch a special item with sentimental value. Furthermore, Rolex watches tend to appreciate value with the passage of time, so buying a watch is also an investment. Now, despite all these very valid reasons for the price of Rolex watches, it's also equally important to understand that Rolex has been excellent at marketing its brand ever since it was founded. Rolex watches have been worn by many of the most famous celebrities. Some of them include The Weeknd, Ed Sheeran, Jay-Z, and even Sean Connery in his James Bond films. And these aren't even the official brand ambassadors of the Rolex brand, which includes names like Tiger Woods and Roger Federer. Needless to say, Rolex has a lot going for them. It makes sense for a big-name brand to charge big-name brand-level money for their products. It's not without reason, though. Rolex prides itself in its craftsmanship, everlasting design, and meticulous manufacturing process. They really care about what goes into making each watch the best, and that may just be enough to justify the heavy price points. What do you guys think? Is Rolex right to charge so much for their watches? Is it all just clever marketing tactics? If you own a Rolex watch, do tell us your experience about it. Even if you don't own one, we'd love to know why you want one, or why you've sworn to never use your hard-earned money on one.